and on the bottom right you see others' perceptions of them. Um, this idea of self-perception perceptions and other perceptions is very important in managing people because in order to uh, understand people you have to get at their self-perception and perhaps get beyond your own perception of who they are and how they do things in order to be able to figure out how best to manage and lead these, this particular type of person. So if we move on to look at Generation X, you'll see a quite different picture of the ideas and concepts and values that they bring to the table in terms of both their self-perception and others' perceptions of them, uh, others being largely those who have tried to manage them or think about them in, in general. So moving on to Generation Y, we see again quite different understandings of their self-perception and other people's perceptions of them. General, Generation Y in particular has a bit of a, of a bad name in the Canadian workforce. Uh, maybe not a bad name, but a, bit, a large amount of concern in HR departments about how we will uh, manage to keep these people engaged enough to stay with a job because uh, the reputation, uh, the perception that is out there in the work world in Canada is that these people are very um, um, non-committal and if something isn't working for them they fix it, they change it, they move on. They will not stay in a job simply to maintain a, a work paycheck and so this makes them a very difficult group to manage. I'd be very interested to hear at the end from any of you who whether this, this kind of analysis holds true in say Australia or other areas of the globe as well. But bearing with my discussion, then the challenge on 